Okay, so final scene, Hopper's about to get blown up by this giant death laser thingy, and somehow, some way, he survives. He was exposed to immense amounts of radiation, and then was possibly struck by the blast from this reactor. What if Hopper survived the explosion, and the radiation from the death laser gave him powers just like Eleven? What if he gets his powers just like all these other superheroes, the Flash, the Hulk, Captain Adam, all these others who are also exposed to radiation through freak accidents? What if Hopper has to learn how to use these powers to help him escape the Russian prison? Or, better yet, what if my other theory is true and Dr. Brenner is still the American in the prison and he has to work with Hopper and teach him how to use his powers just like he did with Eleven so they can both escape the Russians? That'd be insane! Just think about that! This plus numerous other theories have been running through my head the last few weeks since the teaser for Stranger Things Season 4 was released and at this point I just really needed to tell somebody other than myself when I'm up at 4am and this is all I can think about. Stranger Things was one of the best things we've gotten from television in a long time, with such a great cast that almost anyone can emotionally connect with. Our hearts sank while we watched Elle read her letter from Hopper, and I know we both shed a tear, don't lie, when our favorite Russian was sadly killed off at the end of the season. <laughs> R.I.P. Alexi. But our hearts were recently lifted and finally put to ease with a short teaser from Netflix showing that Hopper did indeed survive the Russian's Thanos snap laser. But isn't that kind of a big reveal to give us before the first episode? What possibly could the Duffer brothers have up their sleeves to shock us even further? Just what if one of their big secrets is Hopper got powers from the radiation and that's how he survived the explosion? There's so many superheroes who got their powers this way. That's not hard to believe. And there's powers in this world. That's not crazy either. So that's what we're going to be talking about for the next few minutes, as well as how Hopper is going to escape the prison and how Elle is going to get her powers back. That's what we're going to get to the bottom of today. So be sure you watch until the end of the video. Video. And don't forget, I'll be here making fun videos for you guys every single week. By subscribing, you can stay up to date on all the latest movies and theories that everyone's going to be talking about. All you have to do is go down and hit that red button that says subscribe, and you'll become part of this community that's filled with tons of people that love to talk about the same things that you love to talk about. We're going to be doing a lot of videos as we get closer to Season 4's release that you're not going to want to miss out on, so make sure you sub. Now, I'm glad I'm finally telling someone about this because for the longest time, I couldn't figure out if this was even worth telling, but hopefully by the end of this, you'll see why. Why I needed to share this. If you're familiar with the Duffer Brothers, you'll know what I mean when I say that what they've given us is too easy. There's no way they would reveal their best hand this early, and if they didn't have something twice as big as Hopper actually being alive, they would have saved his reveal for the actual season. This is why I refuse to believe that Hopper was in the cell before the teaser. That was too easy of a guess for the Duffer Brothers. I figured they just wanted everyone to think that and then they'd switch it up on us and it'd be Dr. Brenner all along. I mean, they needed someone to help them open their portal in Russia, and who better than the person that started all of this? I just figured Hop jumped into the portal and was chilling in the Upside Down for a few months until he could signal Joyce or Murray with some of those Christmas slides. And if you remember when they finished season 3 and they had the teaser with the American and the Russian cell in the credits, they hadn't even written the first episode for season 4 yet. In fact, they only kind of had an idea of what they wanted to do, so I think that this was an actual fallback at one point. If they couldn't think of any other big reveals, they were just going to throw Brenner in the mix and try to get us to think the American was Hopper. But cut to today and what do you know? They told us Hopper survived and that he's being held captive in Russia and it's only the teaser. They've got something else big in store. And what if this is it? Or at least part of it? Okay, so back to the scene of the explosion. Now, we've all seen the ladder that Hopper could have went down to escape the blast and maybe could have been caught by some Russians at the bottom, who knows? But it also looks like there's a stairwell hidden on the other side of this platform that he could have tried to run down. He couldn't have gotten far though. From the last time we saw him till the time of the explosion, not much time had passed. In fact, it was literally the amount of time that I'm going to stop this YouTube video for and wait for you to subscribe. And we're back! Look at that! In that little amount of time, it'd be hard to believe he could have gotten very far. Do you see what I mean? What if Hopper was still in close proximity to the blast and the radiation from the laser opening portal gave Hopper some kind of powers? This has happened with so many superheroes and villains in the past, I don't see why this can't happen with Hopper. It'd be kind of fitting for the dad and daughter to both have powers. It would be kind of poetic in a sense. I would love to see a showdown with Hopper and Eleven fighting the Mind Flayer together with their powers. That'd be the coolest thing ever, are you kidding? Name a better dynamic duo, I'll wait. 
Other than Mando and Baby Yoda, of course. I mean, who doesn't love some Baby Yoda? But the biggest and coolest theory I think I've ever had is this. Just hear me out. So, basically, what if Hopper ran down the other stairwell and is running out of the door and the reactor explodes and the smallest bit of lightning catches him and somehow it gives him powers? Maybe it knocks him unconscious and the Russians find him and bring him back to Russia with them so they can see if he knows anything about helping them open their own portal to the Upside Down? Because they're still working on building their own army of Demogorgons or something like we saw in Season 3 post credit scene. So what if Hopper is like on training wheels with these powers and they're super subtle and he has no idea how to use them, he can close his eyes and feel warm bodies in the cells next to him or something, I don't know. Something small that he will have to learn how to use to eventually help him break out of prison. Or what if, like I was saying before, what if Dr. Brenner is the American in the cell and he has to teach Hopper how to use his powers just like he did with Eleven so that he can use them to break them out of prison? To see those two contrasting characters have to work together would be really cool, because Hopper hates Brenner. He literally tortured and experimented on his now daughter throughout all of her childhood. And up until they would meet, he still thinks he's dead and that Demogorgon from season 1 had him for lunch. So Hopper would be just as surprised to see him, let alone have him teach him how to use these powers and grow to the point where he could use them to break out of the Russian prison. Just think about how cool that would be if we actually got to see that. That'd be a really good story too. It's not just a far-fetched theory. I don't know if you follow The Flash, but here's a quick summary for those of you who don't. So, Star Labs made a particle accelerator to help make clean, sustainable energy for Central City. Something went terribly wrong, and when they powered it on, it exploded, creating a thunderstorm that shot a bolt of lightning out and struck Barry Allen. This sent him through the chemicals he was working with. Now, when he woke up, he was the Flash. He was running everywhere super fast and changing the future and messing everything up for six seasons now. Okay, just kidding. It's a good show and all. He does some good too, but you get what I mean. Do you remember this green goo that seemed to power the laser that we constantly saw during season three, but it was never addressed what it was and it was never mentioned? Yeah, well, what if Hopper found a way down and was on his way out of the room just as it exploded and the blast sent him flying through the next room crashing into some shelves with a bunch of the green goo on it? What if the same thing happened to Hopper that happened to Barry Allen? Maybe Hopper got some powers from this mysterious green goo that we know nothing about that the Russians seem to be using for fuel for the death laser. Maybe that's why the Duffer Brothers chose not to say anything about it during season 3 and just alluded to it being important at some point. Who knows? I mean, Steve is literally holding it in the poster for Stranger Things. It has some significance. Maybe it'll make him turn into the Hulk, which by the way is another superhero that got his powers from being exposed to a freak accident with a healthy dosage of radiation. So what's to say Hop won't get the ability to shoot some lightning bolts out of his hands or turn into a mutant ninja turtle? Anything could happen. That green goo had way too much screen time in season 3 to just get swept under the rug and not mean anything. Look at all the other superpowers who had problems with radiation. Dr. Manhattan was literally obliterated by a nuclear generator and it made him immortal and gave him the ability to move objects with his mind. Can you imagine if Hopper could do this? Dr. Solar. He was involved in a nuclear fission reactor accident where he had to jump into it to prevent a meltdown and he was turned into pure energy and control anything in the universe. Since we all know that matter and energy are equal, he can do anything to everything. He can travel through time, absorb and manipulate all forms of energy and convert it into matter matter and then back into energy again. He could even create wormholes and manipulate gravity as well as travel at the speed of light. Could you imagine if Hopper had this one? Maybe they'd kill off one of the kids and Hopper would have to figure out how to create a warp in time and go back and save them. Or maybe he'll go back and save Alexi. Or, or maybe just make sure Dr. Brenner didn't survive season one. I mean, Eleven's connection with the Upside Down and traveling through the void and everything is so crazy, we still don't know everything about it and even Eleven herself is still figuring out how it works. What if the chemicals had some tie to the Upside Down or let Hopper reach out and find Eleven or Joyce and let him know that he was still alive? We know they took Eleven's powers away so she couldn't look for Hopper. I'm sure since his funeral she knew that no one had found his body unless for some reason they created another fake rubber body double like they did for Will in season 1, but I don't know why they would do that. Maybe just to cover up the incident again, but they could always just have it be a closed coffin funeral I guess. But still, the point is, if Eleven could, she would look for Hopper. But because she can't, there needs to be some way that the gang finds out that Hopper is still alive so so they can go look for him. Do you guys remember Murray's phone number easter egg? Well, if you called Murray, it would go to his voicemail and he said this. Hi, you have reached the residence of Murray Bauman. Mom, if this is you, please hang up and call me between the hours of 5 and 6 p.m. as previously discussed, okay? And this is Joyce. Joyce, thank you for calling. I've been trying to reach you. I, I have an update. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's probably best if we speak in person. It's not good or bad, but it's something. 
he found something that he's been trying to tell Joyce about. What if that something was a hint at the possibility that Hopper could be alive? What if Hopper was somehow able to reach out and create a blip that Murray picked up and thought it was just abnormal enough to tell Joyce about? I mean, maybe this is how Joyce and the kids first realize Hopper's alive and set off to rescue him. The only thing in question is why would Hopper not get Thanos snapped away like everyone else in the vicinity when the explosion went off? Because this happened before in the first episode when all the Russians were near it and it exploded and killed everyone, but I mean that was a slightly different explosion. This one crippled the machine, but still, how did Hopper survive and everyone else die? What were the variables that were different that would allow him to get superpowers while everyone else got zapped away? I mean, there's a slight chance the hazmat suits they were wearing would make a difference versus Hopper without one, but maybe it had something to do with Hopper sitting there being exposed to the radiation slowly for the last 15 minutes while he was fighting Terminator, that when he got hit, his body was already tainted with it and it wasn't as big of a shock to his system. It sends him flying into green chemicals and fuses with his particles to give him some kind of powers maybe similar to L's. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, I found this one superhero who is coincidentally Russian named the Red Star that was exploring an alien spacecraft with some others when he accidentally made it explode. And unlike the others, instead of being blown to bits, like the Russians, the explosion gave him superpowers, firepowers. He could turn into pure energy, super strength, and flight. I mean, what if the same thing happens to Hopper and for some reason he doesn't die but instead gets superpowers? There's just so many hero origins that start like this and there's already powers in the universe. I don't see why this can't actually happen. Let me know what you think about this. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to put an end card here to subscribe. All you have to do is click this circle. It couldn't be any easier. And comment down below on what you think about the whole Hopper getting powers thing. I just think it'd be really cool if Brenner had to teach him how to use his powers so they could escape the Russian prison in season four. And then go watch my other video on how Hopper survived his death and how they tricked us all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next time, I will see you in the comments. Peace.